Hello YouTube, Real Shooting here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the tournament choice bait bag. I believe this is an academy brand and that's where I purchased it in store for $14.99. I've had it for over a year now and it originally comes with a box in here, in this front compartment. But I didn't like the box, it's one of those cheaper ones where the hooks don't stay in the compartments. So I just put a couple of lures as you can see. Rage Swimmers and Shimmer Shabs. And then you got this little zippered pouch here. I just put a little bit of crappie lures in there. Got some small jig trailers. And then on the back side, you also got the handle on top. And sorry about that, on the back side you have a bigger zipper. <laughs> But here it's pretty flat, so you could probably put like a couple of bags of plastics back there or some hooks, whatever you want. And then in the main compartment, you do have two zippers, as you can see, right here. You can open it all the way up, and it comes with the zippered bags that are on like the binder ring style. And you got 10 pages, Ziploc bags. Yeah, 10 pages. You could probably add more if you wanted to. I'm not sure if you could find the replacements on academy.com. You can probably take these out if you wanted to also and just put the the bait bags in them. As you can see, they're just Ziploc. You take out your baits, put them back in there. I got some Zoom trick worms right here on the front. Watermelon red. That's one of my go-to lures. The annoying thing about these is that you always want to close them back up. So you got to put the bag in there, close it, open this bag, open this bag, grab your lure. Here we got the Salty Super Fluke, the Watermelon Slice. Very good lure here. Caught one of my PBs on this. Put that back in the bag. Put it back in there. Close it up. But overall, this is a pretty good bag. I've had it for over a year now. I am looking at those KVD, the speed bags, I believe they're called. Also, Six Cents has some where you just place the plastic bags in them. They hold about 10 or 20, depending on which one you get. They have a small and a large. But here, you can fit basically the same amount. You can fit, since there's 10 pages, you can put up to two per bag if you wanted to. See in the Yamamoto bag, I have two of them. Two bags of Senkos, watermelon black flake, and then this is chartreuse with green, chartreuse with a lime green, green and chartreuse, yeah. You could probably put more if you wanted to, but if you put too many in each bag, probably like two or three in every single page, the binder would get like pretty stuffed up, and that's what makes it harder to put that clear bin in here, but I didn't really like that clear bin. It's one of those where the hooks don't stay in the compartments you put them in. And I have my main tackle bag anyways. And then one thing you do want to watch out for on this bag. It's only happened to me once where the zippers got caught. See, I think it was here on the corner. And so it ripped a little bit. You just want to make sure they're tucked in there. Most of the time they go in there on their own. You don't even have to worry about it. Just zip it up. But there you go. The tournament choice bait binder a pretty good addition to your tackle bag tackle storage i just throw it in my backpack so i'll grab whatever lures i want to use that day put them in the binder you don't even have to fill it up so depending on what water you're fishing you can pick the colors you would want to use as you can see i got a lot of water, water ah, a lot of watermelon colors got the june bug this is a more natural color, that chartreuse one. I got the watermelon here. Haven't even used these yet. Got them in a mystery tackle box. I don't really fish tubes. I need to try it. Got some trailers on the very back. Gum trailers. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.